at some point in January. He was here working out before the game. As the ball is up, the game is on. The Clippers win the tap. We'll have it to open up the fourth quarter as well. Minute gone by in this opening quarter. The Clippers have looked really good as Ibaka rises for three on a transition three. That's not, but he'll get that shot all the time, especially in transition on the secondary break because he is trailing the play. That's something that misses is Doncic to Richardson. Ibaka taps the rebound to himself. Clippers just one for five. Reminder, you didn't know already this is an earlier start than usual for the Clippers. They tend to struggle. It's almost like a tail end of a back-to-back -back these morning games for the Clippers. Tim Hardaway Jr. for three, and Ibaka gobbles up the rebound. And I'd like to see Luke take that first shot. He was wide open and kind of thought about it a little bit. Doncic finds a seam and misses an open lay at Clippers rebound. I'll wake up by mid third quarter. It'll happen. <laughs> I got your back, partner. Doncic picked up by Ivanka, who I think can guard on the perimeter from time to time. They go in the corner, misses on the three, does Trey Burke. Goes down the right side of the lane, barnstorms, and then recovers to Ivanka. Up and under a variety of moves for Ibaka, but they cannot get the shot to fall. Clippers just two for ten. And Paul George misses on the three. This is Doncic the other way. Was the contact from Ibaka. They'll say the foul happened on the floor. Dallas taking advantage of another floppy turnover by the Clippers. Ibaka would look at a three. No. I was unfortunately out with an injury. James Johnson. Seven for 32, the Clippers are here in this first half. Richardson to Hardaway Jr., corner three. He's just added a new dynamic to this team, maybe not on display here today, but our Clippers and Clipper fans have longed for a stretch four, now a stretch five, and he has delivered. Added to his repertoire, like you talked about, was the ability to step back behind the three, and that just adds another dimension offensively. Again, we're not seeing it this afternoon. And that, and that was good defense that time by Paul George. It was his better offense by Luca. Guard jumper for Ibaka. And again, that's exactly what we are talking about. You know, why he's so effective than just like raw athleticism. Ibaka for three. Long rebound goes to Beverly. Yeah, but that's in today's game, that's not really considered a bad shot. Ibaka does work early and then gets rewarded as he knocks down the shot. Kleba. Powell off the dribble. Challenges Ibaka, hangs inside and draws the foul. Look at the line for time. And the Clippers have it with their first possession of the second half. Ibaka to the rim, lays it in, and dating back, Jim, to the second quarter, the Clippers are now on a 4-7 to seven run. Last play, excellent early post-up for Ibaka. How about that? A bit more energy defensively yep. for the Clippers here to start these things. I think a two stops that we were a part of. Talk about your days in Dallas a little later on. Ibaka, hook shot with like right it. hand. is From the weeks on the strong side, just left Josh Richardson. Enough time to square it up and take his time. Enough time to square it up and take his time. Baca battles for the rebound. Sit up the ball fake and leaves it in. And the Clippers have scored on every possession so far. As well, they're hoping he will be back in January. Suffered a knee injury in that first round. George barges down the lane, creating space for Ibaka for the three. Batum taps it up and in. The real Luke Kennard, especially not only finding his role with his team, but yeah. finding himself again after over a calendar year of inactivity in terms of playing an actual basketball game. Ibaka lays it in.